While Henry Crun struggled manfully with the making of another waterproof gas stove, Captain Seagoon arrived at the base camp in Africa to arrange the transport of the gas stove with a military man. <laughs> Oh, thank heavens I'm cured. <laughs> bad news, Seagun, bad news. This heat, this heat here. Oh, the doctor says I've got a temperature, but I'm going to carry on. What is your temperature? 98.4. But that's... that's normal. I know, that's why I'm carrying on. Oh, great work, great work. Uh -huh. Now, how are we to get the waterproof gas stove to the garrison? Drop it by helicopter? Impossible, sir, impossible. Yes, sir. The fort is invisible from the air. And worse still. Yes, yes. The air is invisible from the fort. Oh! <laughs> by road, then? No road. Up the river? No. Down the river? No. Across the river into the trees? No, no. Why not? No trees. Mm. But across the trees into the river? No river. By tram? Doesn't run. Why not? No railway. Could we build one? No, the river would wash it away. You said there was no river. Ah, it's behind the trees. But a moment ago, you said there weren't any trees either. Ah, but they've grown since then, you know. They just can't stand still for you, you know. I mean, you, 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 you naughty man. You, <laughs> you made that up, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Wait, I remember seeing an armored train back at the depot. Ah, yes, now, that was a dreadful thing. <laughs> Sabotaged by enemies of the Queen. Oh, that train was only armored from the inside. And what is the idea of that? We couldn't fire out, but they could fire in. How is that? Hey, what? The windows <laughs> faced inward. There's only one thing for it. What? We must transport the gas stove by electrified Mongolian bagpipes. <laughs> what a splendid idea. Thank you. Why didn't we think of that before? Meanwhile, at fortnight... Meanwhile, back in Australia... You can't get the wood, you know. You can't get... Fire the back in fortnight! At the same time with Major Bloodnock. We shall have to use electrified Mongolian bagpipes. Why didn't we think of that before? Listeners may well remember that they did. But meanwhile, at Fort Knight. <laughs> While back in Australia. Very difficult, the word, you know. While well, at Fort Knight. At this very moment in London's West End. <laughs> Hello? A little on a blood knock. What? I give you a warning of a flu minor too. <laughs> if you proceed with a waterproof glass love at four tonight, I promise you me that the last disaster. I blow up camp, poison the linking water, the lot the delay the dilemma bomb, clear the wall of the Hang on to this phone a minute. Right. I spend bloody all over you. I kill everything on your body. I put a dynamite in the honey. I say, Hello, Bradnock? Yes? All right, I've got him. Splendid. Now get back here right away, will you? All right. Crun's just arrived with the waterproof gas stove. Hurrying overland by sea, Henry Crun and his waterproof gas stove reached base camp disguised as a bale of tobacco. Mr. Crun, you've arrived at the nicotine! Uh. <laughs> the parts of the gas stove are all marked and ready for assembly. I've been gas stove, assemble! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, Mr. Crun, there it is. Good, 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 good. Now, I'll turn on the gas and set the regular at three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not right, is it? I think I'll try regular two. Hmm. Let's just have a look inside the oven. The train now standing at platform three. Now, the Pardon me, uh, fellow, but where's the taxi rank? I'm sorry, I'm a stranger around here. Oh, indeed. And where do you come from? Africa. That's nice, isn't it? 
Yeah. Well, would you mind closing that open door? There's a draft in the waiting room by here, you see. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, isn't it amazing? <laughs> I think I can see what the trouble is. I had the regular on five. It should have been on two.